Today using the affordable Faber Castell by color pencil, I'm going to do a realistic color pencil sketch of a rainbow turtle. Each brand pencil has its own pigment and color. So don't think that only using the certain brand pencil you can make a good work. For good result in art, brand or pencil doesn't have to play a big role. Okay, let's get into the sketch. Here I'm using a Faber Castell bicolor pencil in 36 shades. From childhood I loved to using the Faber Castell pencil than any other pencil in the market. I got comfortable with this. Maybe you can use Camlin or Creator Color or Prisma or any other brand. So use the brand that you are comfortable with. Color pencils are in different medium like oil based, wax based or water based. But the pencil that I am using is student's pencil. It's not oil based or wax based or water based one. So the color will be bit light compared to oil based or wax based. So to get the deep dark shade, do the layering method, blend the different colors and layer them. I almost used all the colors in the sketch. First thing that you have to do in color sketch is analyze. Analyze the reference picture that you are gonna work on. Check the colors that it has. Here I am using the light green emerald blue to get that emerald green color as in my reference. Don't hesitate to blend the different colors. But if you have doubt, do the blend in rough paper and find the desired color that you need. Blending and layering is all that you need to learn in color pencil sketch. I will make a separate video of how to blend different colors and layer them. As you can see, when I do the first layer, the color looks very light. So add the other layers of almost same shade and layer them. But remember not to put too much pressure on the paper when you do layers. This is the common mistake that most of the people do. They do layering with lot of pressures and will damage the paper. So with slight pressure you can do the layering. And do light shading on the highlighted areas. Here on the left side of the turtle shell and the top corner, I did the light shade as a highlight. Even you can use the eraser for highlighted areas. But when you have to highlight the darker shaded area, it will be bit difficult to rub off the darker shade for highlight. So better leave the highlighted areas or do light shade on the highlighted areas. Most important thing in any realistic sketch is highlight and shadows. Shadows and highlights are the thing that make your sketch look realistic. Here I am using black pencil from Stedler Mass Lunograph Black as my dark shadow part. It doesn't have to be this same pencil. You can use the black pencil from this same bicolor pencil packet or graphite pencil in darker shade or any other dark shade pencil. The thing is you have to blend them with the other color to make it look like the shadow. Don't ever hesitate to try the new things because we artists always learn from the mistakes. So blend and layer the different colors. Another mistake that people do with color pencils is shading. They shade in all of the direction and that will make it look like a mess. Don't ever do that. Blend and shade the colors in one direction. 
and do the layer above it. But the first direction that you are giving will change your total work. The first direction shade should be the direction of the body. In this, in top left shell, I did the shading in slanting way to make the look like a shell. Same for the body part, I used yellow, orange and other colors in horizontal direction. Because the bottom body's direction is in horizontal direction. So always study your reference first. Its color, its shadow, highlights and the direction of flow. Only with analysis of your reference, you can make the realistic work. And the next thing is detailing. Detail your sketch. Do all the small details that your eyes can note and don't be lazy for it. The more details that you give, the more good output you will get. This bicolor pencil will be a bit harder to work on because after 3 or 4 layers, it will be hard to add the next layer. It doesn't blend well after 3 or 4 layers. It's not because this brand is bad. As you can see, I'm using the student color pencil, so this is the best it can give. But if you have polychromo pencil from Faber Castell, you can create lots of layers and it will blend well too. I don't have polychromo pencil from Faber Castell, but my wish to get one. If I get, we'll do the review and demo of polychromo pencil from Faber Castell. And finally, I'm adding the face details. Just doing the shading, blending, layering, shadows and highlights. And that's it. Rainbow Turtle in Faber Castell Bicolor Pencil is done. Finishing off with my tiny identity.